Hello everyone and welcome to our latest motion tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to do a quick dirty flag displacement or a waving of a flag in motion or steel flag in motion okay and we're gonna start this project with a normal group as you can see I just have a group you should start out with a normal it's a regular group it should be labeled group I changed the name of it to flag waving that'll just help us keep track okay now everybody knows how to create new groups by hitting this plus key and I hit the plus key you see it makes a new group so I've made this I've changed the name of the original group that was in the project if you open it up there'll be nothing in, in your group but what I want you to do is select your group and hit the plus key okay and that'll throw in a group above your flag waving group I want you to take that group and drop it into your flag waving group and name it flag okay so now as you can see I have the original group and inside the original group I have another group and I named it flag okay the original group is called flag waving and the group inside of the flag waving group is called flag if that makes any sense so I have a group inside of a group you can actually name them whatever you want now inside of my group inside of a group I have my picture of the American flag okay and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea for me to rename the picture so let's rename it American flag okay there we go now as you can see I have a group inside of a group with the American flag in it okay one more time the American flag inside of a group inside of a group very very easy so now as you can see we have an American flag inside of a group inside of a group so you can make your American flag with shapes and stuff inside of motion or you can go out to Google images and get a picture of an American flag it's really, a, you know, it, it, it don't matter. It, it's up to you where you source your American flag. So, however you get it, go ahead and throw it in your project there, like I have. So, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to build a displacement generator um, to make this thing wiggle and wave like it's in the wind. Now, displacement, for those of you who are not familiar with the word, um, is like what happens on the surface of a lake. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new group above our flag. Okay? So let's go ahead and do that. So press, press the plus key to add your new group. Let's open up the one we've already created and let's drop that new group inside. And now we have two groups inside of our flag waving group. We have the group we just made and of course the group called flag that's housing our American flag picture. Now I want you to make sure that that second group there that we just created is in the middle of the two okay and let's go ahead and name it let's go ahead and call it displace shader so let's go ahead and click it displacement shader so now there we go we got two groups inside of our flag waving group the flag group which holds our American flag picture in our displacement shader group which we're going to use to define the displacement of our waving flag now, we're going we're gonna to select our displacement shader group, and we're going to add a gradient generator, okay? And we're going to set the gradient generator to grayscale. So we're going to have our displacement shader group selected. Let's go to library, generator, scroll down, select your gradient generator, and drop it right on that displacement shader group. Go to your inspector, come down to your gradient, turn down the disclosure triangle, change the color to grayscale, okay and let's change our type to radial now what we want to do is we want to adjust our gradient okay and, in, and you can do that several ways you can do it inside of the canvas with the little gradient adjustment tool or you can do it with these little HUD over here the little controls so let's go ahead and take these controls and as you can see when I move them it expands and adjust this gradient so I'm gonna move this over here a little bit let's rotate it around that's not too bad it'll do for this I don't want to set in full with it too much it'll do for what we're doing as you can see my settings are on start are 1283 and 116 and the end is 256 and minus 1434 now these I've just went in and done on the fly so I'm not sure how well those numbers will work for you okay so just keep that in mind just what you want is a good radial gradient from right to left or left to right like you see here okay 
So after we've gone ahead and you've gone ahead and adjusted your gradient to look like what you see here in my video, now we're going to use the uh, gradient colorize filter now. So what we're going to do is we're going to let's go ahead and select our gradient. Let's go up to add filter, color correction, gradient colorize. Okay, and that's going to colorize our gradient for us. Now we're going to set we're going to set some properties on this, and we're going to set the repeats to ten. So it's on one now. But before we do that, I want to demonstrate something. I'm going to go down to I'm going to go up to um, the edit menu and select project properties. Okay, yours should be set on eight bit. Okay, now let me show you. Let's go ahead and set our repeats to ten. Okay, now you can see here we have this banding okay now we can fix this banding with a Gaussian blur and we're gonna do that but let me show you uh, another another thing that will help tremendously let's go back up to our project properties and where it says bit depth let's take it to 32 bit float now when I say okay boom you can see that banding disappears so now how could we go ahead and do that by not changing it the you know to 32 bit float so let's go ahead and add a uh, what could we do we could add like I said we could add a Gaussian blur but first let's right click on offset and select ramp okay so as you can see there's an offset here under our gradient colorize let's right select right click it and select ramp okay now this will take us into our ramp controls and we're going to uh, set our ramp end value to 720 okay so let's go ahead and say ramp in value 720 now this will mark work in uh, increments of 360 degrees as well I'm just gonna say 720 okay keep things simple now if we press play we're gonna see a series of rings so let's go down here and press play okay so far so good now as you can see when I've started this project I've started it not on frame one so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break take everything back out to frame one like so I wanna make sure everything's on frame one so we can start on frame one and it looks like we're good to go now so now if I go back to frame one that was my fault I didn't start with my playhead on frame one you should have started with your playhead on frame one that was my mistake so if I push play, now you can see we have a series of concentric rings. And now, like I said, let's go ahead and show you how to fix that without changing your, your floating point, your bit depth. Let's go ahead and show you how to do that with a Gaussian blur, okay? So let's go ahead and keep on our gradient. Let's go up to Add Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, okay? Now we're going to set the vertical value to zero. And we're going to leave the horizontal at 100. And that will take care of your banding for you. If you do not change your floating point or your bit depth to 32-bit float. So now that we've got that done, let's go ahead and select our gradient. And we're going to turn the... Um, we're going to... We're going to now let's select our displacement shader. And we're going to turn the, the opacity down, okay? So let's select our displacement shader. Go to properties. And we'll turn down our opacity all the way. Now, as you can see, we see our flag underneath there, but because our, you know, of course, our displacement layer is turned opacity down to where you can't see it, but that's okay. We're going to fix that. We don't need to see it, okay? And that's where the displacement comes in, and I'll show you that here in just a second, okay? So now, let's go ahead and select the flag group, okay? Since we've turned our opacity down on the displacement shader group, let's go ahead and select our flag group, and we're going to add a a filter to it called displace okay so let's select our flag group I go to add filter distortion displace okay now as you can see when it brings up our displace well we have an, we have an image well in there and have you can you guess what we're gonna put inside that image well you guessed it our displacer shader layer okay so we're gonna drop that in our map image well and we're going to set the vertical scale to 0.10 and horizontal scale to 0. So let's go ahead and drop our displacement shader layer right in there. 
at that as you can see from the picture now even though we can't see our displacement layer the displacement is still bleeding through to our flag because it's in our displacement shader map well there that's what the displaced filter does um, if I if you have any kind of image like that we had those concentric rings we made but if you had any kind of image you know like that you could put in the displacement layer you could make it look like water or anything it's up to you what you put inside that image well and it could you could displace it to do many many things okay so now that we've done that let's go ahead and set our horizontal to zero in our vertical and leave it to 0.10 like that now we need to do a few more things to clean it up if we play it you can see it's kind of truncated there on the top or on the bottom okay so we want to fix that but that's easy to fix and we can fix that with a with the rectangle tool actually so you can activate it by going up to the top here you can hit the R key for the rectangle tool so let's make sure our flag layer is selected let's select our rectangle tool and I'm gonna draw a big rectangle bigger than the screen like so let's go to our shape tab let's change the color to black okay and let's make sure that rectangle is below our original American flag picture like so now as you can see the bottom is not truncated it is waving like the top okay now all we need to do is add some shadowing to it the shading so let's click on our dis displacer shader group and let's set the opacity back up to 50 percent properties you see we'll set their opacity back up to 50 percent there we go now you think that's not working well that's okay we just need to do one more little thing we need to change the blend mode and we're going to change it to multiply and boom now as you can see it looks like we have some shadow on our flag now you can work with this you can change the speed and have it displacing a lot faster a lot slower I just picked this because it was um, easy for you guys to follow and easy you guys to see what was going on with the shaders and shade shade tree shade tree the shade displacement and stuff how we added our shaders using the blend modes and stuff but you can go in and change a number from 720 to 360 or you can fool with your settings and try to get this to wave a little faster and you can take this method like I said and use it for anything if you want the water on the surface of a lake to displace like it's actually moving you can go in and grab your caustics generator and instead of putting the little concentric circle rings inside of your map well you can put the caustics inside your map well and it will make it look like water okay real quickly I might as well show you how to make it wave faster if you select your ramp behavior you can see we have in the in value 720 if you put something like 1440 1440 and hit play you can see now that it's waving a lot faster so you just gotta mess with your numbers up here in the end value of your ramp behavior to adjust the speed of your flag so that's that guys I hope you've learned something I really do and I look forward to uh, having my next video with you guys and um, I can't wait we'll see you then thanks for watching